We are living in the 21st century with ongoing advanced development in the field of concrete technology, happening each and every day, with the invention of novel types of concrete, which is the primary raw material for this developing world, enabling the construction of bridges, buildings, dams, stadiums, highway, etc., to make this world a better place to live and yet, have you ever seen a structure without cracks? Ever wondered about concrete which doesn't cause any deformities? Introducing self-healing concrete, a perfect solution through which the concrete can take care of its own problems just like human beings. The phenomenon of self-healing in concrete has existed ever since concrete has existed. Old concrete structures usually include some cracks, which are filled with white crystalline materials, often Portlandite or calcite. These materials imply the ability of concrete to self-heal the cracks, likely with the aid of rainwater and carbon dioxide in the air. Cracks affect the building's artistic look and it destroys the wall's integrity, affects the safety, and even reduces the durability of the structure, which ultimately sky touches the maintenance and repair costs. We are well aware that cracks are inevitable but if they are not treated properly, it can lead to long-term effects. Hence we introduce the concept of self-healing concrete which can enhance the strength and durability to a greater extent outperforming the conventional concrete. Self-healing concrete is a culmination of varied components, each having a significant role in producing the desired properties of concrete. Obtained from different sources, the components taken together now form the future of the construction industry. It is a type of concrete that will biologically produce limestone to heal cracks that emerge on the surface of structures. To make this possible we incorporate self-healing agents such as types of bacteria, fibers along with a calcium-based nutrient known as calcium lactate in appropriate proportions into the traditional concrete mix. So self-healing concrete is achieved by mixing cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, admixtures, if required, water and the self-healing agents. These agents germinate once they come in contact with moisture through the cracks that appear in the concrete and get activated, after which it starts to feed on calcium lactate. Subsequently, oxygen is consumed, and the soluble calcium lactate is converted to insoluble limestone. The limestone solidifies on the cracked surface producing calcium carbonate, thereby sealing it up. These self-healing agents can lie dormant within the concrete for up to 200 years. The self-healing mechanism achieves a tremendous reduction of cost in terms of damage detection, health monitoring, and maintenance, providing for the structure's durability. Like two peas in a pod, we have merits and demerits for SHC. The 7 and 28 day compressive strength and flexural strength of SHC concrete are higher than the conventional concrete, for the similar grade of cement used. We are well aware of the fact that our body produces cold receptors when met with a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. Conventional concrete is similar to that but, SHC has a higher resistance to freeze and thaw effects, making them suitable in extreme climatic conditions. SHC has a low water absorption compared to conventional concrete, a substantial reduction in corrosion of reinforcement, thus, improving the overall life of reinforced concrete structures. The primary drawback of SHC is that it requires a high initial investment, but the overall cost of construction and maintenance gets adjusted in the long run, as maintenance costs of SHC structures are very less or even negligible compared to conventional concrete. A thorough study on this topic through the ACI competition can help us in turning things around. Lately, incorporating healing agents in concrete mixtures has drawn increasing attention from researchers, because they can heal the cracks automatically. The manufacturing processes of bacteria and fibers are eco-friendly, and when reacted with air or water, they do not produce any toxic products. They are non-combustible and explosion-resistant. When significantly taken in concrete, these self-healing agents are said to enhance the compression, flexural, and split tensile strengths and the mechanical properties of concrete. The insoluble limestone is formed firstly due to the reaction of CO2 present in the atmosphere with calcium hydroxide present in the concrete matrix. As calcium hydroxide is a soluble mineral, it gets dissolved when entering the water and diffuses out of the crack in the form of leaching. The self-healing process in concrete is much more efficient due to the active metabolic conversion of calcium lactate by the bacteria like Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus pasturi, Bacillus sphericus, Sporosarchina urea, Bacillus megaterium etc., and fibers like basalt present in concrete. Here limestone is produced directly due to bacteria microbial metabolic processes and indirectly due to autogenous healing. This insoluble limestone occupies the voids due to cracks, and it solidifies. This process results in an efficient crack-sealing self-repairing mechanism. Bacteria's fibers plus oxygen gives lime plus CO2 plus water. 
healing agents are confined in and protected by microcapsules before incorporation in concrete. When cracks occur, microcapsules rupture, and the healing agents released into the cracks can be used in bacterial healing to precipitate calcium carbonate. Self-healing concrete's widespread adaption is hindered by some factors. As mentioned by some researchers, SHC is two times more expensive than conventional concrete. It is also noted that 20% more addition of self-healing agents than required can cause reduction in strength drastically. Also, the quality of the concrete and its properties depend on various agents used under specified conditions and proportions. This is where ACI comes into the picture. ACI can help with the mixed design of the various components to obtain an ideal self-healing concrete block, member, or structure which can be used widely in the construction. This gives a room to innovate, synthesize, and develop a sustainable solution concerning the healing property of concrete and giving the structure a long-lasting life. Due to its capacity to self-repair and durability, self-healing concrete is the ideal option for the demand for sustainable concrete and will be the most important advancement in concrete technology in the future. Self-healing concrete accomplishes everything from prolonging the life of bridges, streets, and tunnels to providing buildings a long life, and it offers up whole new prospects in concrete manufacturing. This forward-thinking innovation is the result of a successful combination of microbiology and civil engineering two sciences that on the face of it are unlikely collaborators. Self-healing concrete. A structure's own doctor, 